Geology gives us the fact that every several hundred million years or so, a new form of life appeared on the Earth. The question is, how did that come to be? What made it happen like that? Well, there are three great answers to that question. The most simple answer is, well, that's the way God created them. And you know, it is an interesting fact that Moses, when he wrote these first words of the Bible, got these things appearing on the earth in exactly the same order in which geology, which was only recently invented, has found them in the actual rocks of the earth. Hi, my name is Malik Awaras and I'm broadcasting to you from the prison capital of the world, Canyon City, Colorado. So I noticed nearly every conservative media figure calling the killer of Jordan Neely a good Samaritan. And I had never actually read the story before and wow. So I'm going to share it with you all and then talk about it for a little bit afterwards. On one occasion, an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law, he replied. How do you read it? He answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do this and you will live. But he wanted to justify himself. So he asked Jesus, Who is my neighbor? In reply, Jesus said, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. So too, a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii and gave it to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return I will reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The expert in the law replied, the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. So I think the most important thing to understand here is the complete inversion of the truth. The Good Samaritan didn't kill the man. He took care of him, dressed him, housed him. Now I'm not a Christian, but if I was, I'd be pretty disgusted. Thank you for watching.